make DIY clothes racks for a yard sale. Graduations, new jobs, new beginnings, new schools. What do all of these things have in common? Yard sales, sorta. What they definitely have in common in some capacity is a relocation. And where there's a move, there's a need to get rid of some household items. And what does that mean? That's right, a yard sale. However, especially if these changes are happening quickly, you might decide to hold a yard sale before checking to see if you have the right supplies. You need to get rid of a bunch of clothes, but you don't have a clothes rack to display. What do you do? You keep reading this article. Here are a few ways to make some DIY clothes racks for a successful yard sale. A sticky situation. When you break it down, what do you really need to pull off a clothes rack? A stick. Well, a pole of some sorts anyway. If you're able to get your hands on any sort of solid pole-like object, like a broomstick, you're golden. If you've got a couple of ladders on hand, that's all you need. Place your poles so that it's supported by a ladder on either side, and as long as your pole and your ladders are sturdy enough, you're ready to hang clothes up for display. Even more minimalistic, if your ladder is tall and thin enough, you might be able to hang clothes on the individual rungs. This same logic really extends to just about any support you can find. And any pole you have lying around. Have some spare PVC pipes in the garage? Perfect for hanging clothes. Although you can go all out and make a full-on PVC clothes rack, supporting a PVC pipe between two trash bins will do the trick. Maybe wash and cover those bins first, though. All tied up. If you don't have an abundance of loose poles lying around, don't fret. Your next best option? Any sort of rope you can tie up, like a clothesline. It's even in the name. If you have two trees in your yard, you can tie a clothesline in between them for a quick and easy DIY clothes rack. Again, the same goes if you have two tall ladders or really just any two spots you can tie a clothesline to that are more or less the same height. You aren't limited to clotheslines either. Any sort of rope works just fine. You can use some fishing line in a pinch, and although it isn't usually listed as one of the main benefits, this might be the most use you get out of that old jump rope you promise to use every day. If you ask us, it's the best benefit. Get creative. At this point, you can probably guess the name of the game, creativity. The truth is, you don't need to come up with the fanciest, shiniest, and most attractive DIY project in the history of clothes racks. You just need something to be able to hold up your items for the day. Hang them on a tree branch. Take advantage of that awkwardly low-hanging pipe in the garage. Leave your Christmas lights up until yard sale season and pull them down a bit for the clothes hangers. Embrace the spirit of serendipity. And remember, the more creative your display is, the more interested people are gonna be to come and see what you've got. Chances are that not having a clothes rack on hand could be a blessing. Long live the art scene.